welcome to another video a few weeks ago i ordered a leather jacket similar to the villain outwear leather jacket i ordered this on january 21st it arrived about february 10th so in all it took it about three weeks to arrive to the us now i have the package here i was going to do this review a long time ago but i got busy at work but we're here today so i'm going to be making a review on this product now off the bat, this product is supposed to be PU leather on the outside. So that's basically plastic leather. And the inner lining is supposed to be polyester. So let's take a look at it and see what it looks like and how it fits. The color I bought is the black color, not the brown color that's very popular. But let's see what this looks like in real life. So this is a package it came in. And if you've bought any of this from villain outwear or david outwear if it comes in a different different packaging than this please leave me a comment in the comment section so let's go on and get this open so pretty easy to open let's pull this out and this is what it comes in this is the back side this is the front now the packaging is pretty good so far this is likely even better than some of the items I bought off Amazon even though most of them come from the same source but the packaging so far is pretty good and the jacket just looking at it from out here looks pretty good as well so let's open this up now I usually wear a size medium but my body weight has been fluctuating over the last year or so between a medium and a small. So for this one, I got a small just in case. First impressions, this looks good. The logo here where Villain Outwear usually shows its logo, there's no logo here. If you have a Villain Outwear or a David Outwear jacket, just check the logo part and let me know what you find there. The hoodie feels polyester, you can tell it's okay it's it's not exceedingly soft it's okay there is a lot of threads coming out from the fabric already so i'm not surprised because it's supposed to be polyester now once i open this up i'm going to actually check to see if it says polyester in there i paid 43 dollars for this if i paid 70 or 80 dollars for this it still feel fair if i paid 100 dollars for this i wouldn't feel it was a good deal the leather from the outside right now feels soft and patterned it feels relatively good it feels very good actually for a leather jacket you can still see some character on the leather which is good now the pattern is very similar and on real leather the pattern isn't it breaks up in one area and is free flowing on another area opening it up there are some good details here first i like the zipper the zipper here with the pattern on the inside looks good and adds to the character of the overall jacket. Then you can see the buttons here, which are cheap and feel cheap, but this price point, I'm not expecting a lot of very, very good detail. This looks and feels okay. The stitching too is pretty well done, especially for the price point. Even beyond that, I think if I bought this in a store for $70, I think this was good. In some places you can see the stitching is not very precisely done. And you can see some threads stand out. But overall, the stitching on the jacket is good. You would have to actually look for the defects to find them. On the inside, you can see the polyester lining here. It feels plasticky and cheap, but it's fair. You wouldn't expect this to be the most comfortable inner lining or the most comfortable jacket. And from the polyester, you can tell that it's not going to be breathable, but that's fair too. Um, if you look at the inner tag here, you see that it's the outer fabric is 100% PU leather, just like we expected. And the inner lining is 100% polyester, just like we expected as well. So overall, you get exactly what you saw on the AliExpress page. It's a good jacket for $40. I would say it's worth more than $40. If you get this at $40, it's a good deal. And if you bought it retail, 
at $80 to $100, I'd say that you got an okay jacket. At $100 plus, then I would say you should get your money back. The zipper is, is your regular popular zippers. I think it's, I forget what the company is that makes these, but this looks like one of those. Over time, this will not work. This will fail. If you have a tailor close by, you can upgrade the zipper to a fairly better one. The inner zipper is the same zipper as the other side. There is an extra zipper here so that you can take this out. And then you'll just have the jacket. So we'll see what that looks like in a moment. And here you have the inside. This is not the most comfortable inside. This is not a comfortable inside at all. But for this price point and from AliExpress, I would expect this kind of an inner lining. This is the expectation difference. When you buy directly from AliExpress, you know you're expecting an average to a bad item. If you get a very good item, like this is above average, then you've locked out and that's good. But if you're buying from a retail store that's charging you about $100, you would expect the inner lining, for instance, to at least be cotton. Or if it's more than $100, then you could even have wool on the inside. But at this price point, $40, it would likely be polyester. And it feels and looks okay. So do I recommend this jacket? The answer, yes. If you're buying it from AliExpress directly. For $40, this jacket is worth it. Do I recommend this at uh, $100? No. When you get to $100, you would want better, you want a better inner lining and you wouldn't want PU leather. PU leather is called vegan leather. It's marketing speak. You always look for the positive side of anything you're selling in marketing. The downside of PU leather is it's plastic leather. That means that this is not going to last very long. And once it starts falling apart within about a year or two, then you, you would know it wasn't real leather and so not worth a hundred dollars plus but if you get this for forty dollars and you're looking for a decent leather jacket to buy then go ahead and do so i don't usually wear too many leather jackets i think the last one i had was about maybe four years ago my older brother gave it to me very good leather jacket is still at home in nigeria somewhere so I'm not a leather jacket connoisseur. I don't know the specialties in a leather jacket. I did some research on this and I saw some YouTube videos where some people spend up to $1,000, $5,000 on a leather jacket because they can hand those leather jackets down to their sons. But this is not a leather jacket you'll be handing over to your son. This is just, this is a good fashion jacket. So let's say this is the MVMT of leather jackets, right? You're looking for a good fashion item that it's not going to be handed down to anyone. You just want to look good in this. And I'd say that this meets that criteria. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please leave, please leave a like and leave a comment in the comment section. I'm going to start a new series that just goes through items on AliExpress. Since we know these stores go and get their items from AliExpress anyway, and get those images from AliExpress. So why don't we just find the same AliExpress items, take a look at them together, and maybe I'll order one or two and do live reviews on them so that you can buy directly from them and save yourself some money. Now, once we reach about 1,000 to 5,000 subscribers, what I'll do is I'll fundraise for about um, 100 pieces of these jackets, and we can together upgrade the inner lining so for instance, this is polyester inner lining. We can upgrade this and make it cotton inner lining, right? And we can make the jacket um, genuine leather instead of PU leather. We can work on the stitching and make sure that the stitching is done better. And put in a brand, uh, a curated brand here that we will choose and design so that you have a better item in terms of the quality of the materials you still have the design you like and you have a brand at the very least on it that looks presentable 
so you can wear this and feel good in it and maybe even change some of the design elements as well. I've done that for one or two of these items. We want some of these items and we can't find them in the original stores and the items sold on AliExpress are knockoffs and bad quality and don't fit the image. If we do this ourselves, then we can have the exact item that we want. And even better still, if any of those stores reach out to me like Titanica has, then I just make a video telling you guys where you can find them and everybody goes home happy. So if you guys are interested in that, please subscribe and help us get to 5,000 subscribers as quickly as possible. Or at the very least about a thousand because we need minimum order has to be about a hundred for this to work. So help us get to at least a thousand subscribers and let's see if we can raise money for a hundred of these items and we can make our custom orders and edit this out. And then also get the attention of some of those legitimate stores so that through this channel, you can find many options for men's fashion without having to buy from some of these shady stores. I hope you like this video. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.